Yo, what's up, guys? Dante here. I am back with more uh, first weekend recaps of the NCAA tournament. This video will be about the women's. Uh, real quick, let's look at my ranking. I had 470 points out of a total of 1590. I don't know why the points are less. Oh, I know. Wait, is it because of the playing games? No, don't they have playing games for the women? I, I don't know how this, this point system works. Because it says I got 250 in the first round, but 220 in the second round. I, I don't I don't get this. Anywho, I had uh, 470 points. I'm in the 42nd percentile. Rank is 2,121,220. It's a lot of twos in that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and break it down. There were some uh, some amazing games, but there were also some not so ones, some good ones. Uh, let's see. So let's see. Let's check out the regional one. Top half of the bracket, everything was all green. I got South Carolina a Presbyterian. North Carolina squeaked out against Michigan State, and then I had South Carolina and South. Y'all don't understand how bad that game was. First first quarter. Oh, like the, the first half, I think they, it was a point they got like by 40. Like it was really bad, man. I didn't think it was going to beat them that bad. Jeez. Then I had Oklahoma over Florida Gulf Coast, and then I had Indiana over Fairfield. I had Indiana over Oklahoma. And yeah, that is our sweet 16 right there. So I got all that right. And let's see, the bottom half of that, um, that region. Uh, I missed on the Nebraska, but it was by two points, so that could have gone any either way. Other than that, I would have had a perfect region. Had Oregon State over East Washington, of course. Uh, Oregon State, you know, they finished off the Cornhuskers, and I had them going to the uh, Sweet 16. So I got everything right except for the Nebraska pick. Had Ole Miss over Marquette and Notre Dame over Kent State. My Notre Dame Fighting Irish took out. Ole Miss, and then we got our Sweet 16. Where we got Notre Dame over Oregon State. So pretty uneventful uh, region. Other than, like I said, the Nebraska game, I got everything Everything else was, was chalk. Now we're at region four. Now we get a little bit more chippy. So we had, I had Texas over Drexel and I had Alabama over Florida State. I got those two right, and then I had Texas over Alabama. Texas will be in the Sweet 16. Um, Utah, I had Utah over South Dakota State. Um, and uh, I had Gonzaga over UC Irvine. Then I got to the round of 32. So I originally had South Dakota State with the upset. That didn't happen. And I had, I had originally had South Dakota State over Gonzaga. I didn't believe in the women, the women Bulldogs. Um, I watched the game. That was a, it was a, I, I, I mean, I was kind of right because I was watching the first half and Gonzaga was down. They were fighting, they were clawing away. I think Utah got up at one point like a few points. I know that's not a lot, but what I'm saying is, you know, Gonzaga had to fight their way back to win that game. But, hey, shout out to them. So, Gonzaga's men and women are in the Sweet 16. Uh, let's see. We got the bottom half of that bracket. We got Tennessee over Green Bay. And NC State over Chattanooga. And then I had Tennessee over North Carolina State. So, yeah. North Carolina State goes on to the Sweet 16. Uh, Iowa State. I had Maryland. Uh, I'm, apparently, Maryland had like a 19 point lead, and they let that girl, uh, Audie. Audie. Oh, boy, that's long. Let me see. Audie. Uh, Iowa State. What is her name? Give me her name. Audie Crooks. I was about to call. So. This picture, right? I saw this picture 
uh, pop up. I didn't know this was the same girl. Cause I seen I seen this video like a couple years ago, and they were calling her like uh, they were calling her like female Shaq. Cause I seen the highlight clip of her. I was like, she got an amazing post game, boy. I think she could really do some damage if she uh she get a little a little uh she slimmed down a little bit and work like really work on her footwork and she gets like a mid range game. She gonna be they. I would say could be a problem. No, no, like for real. They'll be they'll be a problem. Uh, then I had Stanford over Norfolk State. Like, Whoa, no Norfolk State. There you go. I'm mixing. I'm putting the words together. Um, this Stanford eventually took him out. I had no matter who went up against Stanford. Um, I had Stanford coming out and going to the Sweet Sixteen. I wish it was Maryland, but oh well, things happen. They've been on the decline anyway the last few years. I'm not not super surprised. I'm just kind of surprised the way they lost. Uh, so we got the top of the region two. We got uh, Iowa over Holy Cross, and uh, Iowa West. No, la, la, la. Iowa over West Virginia. I have, I have Princeton because, like I said, Ivy League schools play very tough in the tournament. Uh, but West Virginia had too much firepower. He kind of came to an end. Now, this could have gone either way. There were some questionable calls. I was like, I don't know. And there's been, like, some conspiracy theories. Like, hey, so there, was like a, there was, like, a really big, uh, like, free throw disparity. And that happens in a lot of games where one team, part of that is, is, is aggression. If you're being aggressive and you're attacking the basket, the refs are a little bit more inclined to give you certain calls. That's just how it is. Sometimes you got to force the refs hand to get them called. But it was like a crazy number of uh, free throws Iowa got. Uh, but yeah, Iowa is going on to the Sweet 16. And they will go up against Colorado. I had Colorado over Drake. And then I had Kansas State over Portland. And then I had Colorado over K-State. And yeah, so the, the Buffaloes, they're going on to the Sweet 16 again. Let's see if they can pull off the major upset and, uh, you know, get on to the Elite Eight. That would be big for Boulder. Like I was saying, that, co- that Coach Prime energy, man, it's, it's, it's infectious, man. Honestly, the men's team should be in the Sweet 16, too, but it is what it is. Uh, bottom half of that bracket, we got Louisville with Middle Tennessee. This was another big upset, uh, Middle Tennessee. And then they played LSU very, very close for like like two and a half quarters. And then it just – the whole – the roof caved in on them, and it was the end of that. LSU also played Rice very close. I'm a little concerned about this pick. I mean, uh, about LSU going forward. I do have LSU over UCLA. But I don't know. The way they've been playing the last two games, um, I, it, I wouldn't be surprised if they got knocked out before the Final Four. If they got knocked out sometime in the next two games, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I had Creighton over UNLV and UCLA over over California Baptist and then UCLA close over Creighton. And now we have our, uh, that's our sweet 16 matchup out of region two. And let's go on that to the last region, region three at USC over Texas A&M com, uh, ten, not Converse, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Oh, the points are different. Okay. Plus 10 foot. Okay. I'm stupid. There we go. Then I had uh, we had Kansas over Michigan, and then I had USC took out Kansas, and then yeah, uh, very weird. So I watched a little bit of the game last night. They had for some reason they had both teams wearing red. There was like different shades of red, but it was very hard on the eyes and kind of confusing. Like if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know who t- which team was which. I don't, that was a bad choice. Kansas should have wore like their blue jerseys, 
like they always wear. Or have USC wear the yellow. I don't know. That's silly. Um, uh, oh, okay. And uh, that next two down at Baylor over Vanderbilt. And then Virginia Tech smashed Marshall. And had Virginia Tech over Baylor, but uh, Baylor squeaked them out in a close one. So Baylor would take on USC in the Sweet 16. That's another school where the men and women are in the uh, in the Sweet 16. So shout out to them. And then, uh, so this right here, we have Syracuse over Arizona. You already know why I picked them. I'm really upset. Uh, it is. It is. I, I picked Jackson State. I, that was like a just a a hope and a prayer type of pick. I knew that they weren't going to win. Um, for the sake of my bracket, I should have just went with the two higher seeds. But I was being silly, and yeah, that's what I get. So UConn took over Syrac took out Syracuse. And they will go to the, the Sweet 16, which is another another team, another school with the men and women are in the uh, Sweet 16. Shout out to UConn. And the final two games, so the final three games, I guess, Duke took on Richmond. And Ohio State took on Maine. And I had Ohio State over Duke. Duke won. So we'll have UConn versus Duke in the Sweet 16. So, yeah, that was my breakdown of the women's bracket uh for the most part this bot this bottom half of the bracket is like where i really got i took some lumps i ain't gonna lie top half is like uh, like almost spotless this like i said this happens every year with me i always have a part of the bracket that's like damn near perfect and then another portion of the bracket was just like, it looked like you failed a test. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, that's just my quick recap on my bracket for the women's side. Uh, let me know how you are doing. Um, uh, are you guys going to also do this uh, second chance? I might, I might do it just to see how well I can, just to see how well I can do it. I think it, it might. It, I don't know. I don't think it'll be easier to do, but I, just, I think it'll, you'll have a little bit more nuance because you won't be dealing with like any kind of major upset alerts. You'll be dealing with like, you know, like even for the most part, evenly matched schools. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, this is my champion again, South Carolina, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.